count for meds. Please rise. In the answers that you'll boldly, I hope, answer will be up on the screen for you. <laughs> Beloved in the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ said to his apostles, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You have been baptized and catechized in the Christian faith according to our Lord's bidding. Jesus said, Whenever, whoever confesses me before men, I will also confess before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I will also deny before my Father who is in heaven. Lift up your hearts, therefore, to the God of all grace, and joyfully give answers to what now I ask you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you this day in the presence of God and of this congregation acknowledge the gifts that God gave you in your baptism? Do you renounce the devil? Do you renounce all his works? Do you renounce all his ways? Do you believe in God the Father Almighty? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the hope of eternal life, and the resurrection of the body. Amen. Do you hold all these prophetic and apostolic scriptures to be the inspired word of God? I do. All right, confirmands, boldly now in your answers. Do you confess the doctrine of the, of the Evangelical Lutheran Church drawn from the Scriptures as you have learned to know it from the small catechism to be faithful and true? I very, do. Very good. Do you intend to hear the Word of God and receive the Lord's Supper faithfully? I do. Do you intend to live according to the Word of God and in faith, word, and deed to remain true to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, even to death? Do you intend to continue steadfast in this confession and the church and to suffer all, even death, rather than fall away from it? I do, by the grace of God. We rejoice with thankful hearts that you have been baptized and that you have received teaching of the Lord. You have confessed the faith and been absolved of your sins. As you continue to hear the Lord's word and receive his blessed sacrament, he who has begun a work, good work in you will bring it to completion in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, as a gift of his love for us, our Lord Jesus Christ has given his church the sacrament of the altar and invites his children to receive this sacrament in faith for the forgiveness of their sins. The Apostle Paul calls us to examine ourselves and that in this sacrament we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. These candidates have received instruction and have been examined by the pastors regarding their understanding of this sacrament. So candidates, you are about to receive Holy Communion, some for the first time. Holy Scripture describes the life of the church and every baptized Christian with these words. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. You are invited by our Lord to come regularly to hear his word and receive his sacrament. In testimony of this faith and confession, I now ask you, do you believe that you are a sinner? If so, answer, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and that he died for you and shed his blood for you on the cross for the forgiveness of all your sins? If so, answer, yes, I believe. 
Do you believe that the Lord's, in the Lord's Supper he gives you his true body and blood for the forgiveness of your sins and to strengthen your faith in him and your love towards others? If so, answer, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. Do you intend to continue to hear and receive the instruction of your Lord, confess your sins, and receive the Lord's Supper faithfully throughout your life? If so, answer, yes, with the help of God. I therefore invite you to the Lord's Supper to receive Christ's precious holy body and blood for the forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, parents may join with their confirmads as they come forward. 